We're Seth and Natalia. We bought Windrose, a 38 foot 1977 custom Ingrid Atkins sailboat in Hawaii. We're working hard to restore her in preparation to untie from this island and sail the world. We wanted less things and we wanted more memories. So we traded traditional living in order to live tiny, untethered and on top of this beautiful ocean. We are excited to share our journey with you so you can see our world alongside us. Hey guys, it is a huge day, huge day here on Windrose because today, the thing that we have been waiting for, for going on six, seven months, is that our engine is arriving today. All right, so what that means for us is that we are going to be getting it this afternoon. They're gonna call me and my plan is to be down at the gate with a dolly and then hopefully bring it right here and drop it off so that we can use the mast as like a pulley levy system like we did to get our diesel engine out. So apparently it's split between two boxes but weighs a total of 600 pounds. So I'm assuming 300 and 300 in each box, which I think the dolly should be able to support and the mast and boom system should be able to support that as well. So we are so excited because we've been waiting for this for what feels like forever, but it's been about seven months. It's been our baby that we've been waiting on so that we can get sailing. Literally, we've been waiting seven months, which is the about the time that like a woman would be like in her third trimester. And we are finally able to get it today. So hopefully everything arrives in good condition and then it's just time to figure out how to install. Also, one day I will learn that it is an electric motor versus a diesel engine. I use motor and engine interchangeably. <laughs> so until I learn, I always mean motor when we're talking about the electric engine or er, electric motor. Oh my goodness, I just did it. See, this is why it's so complicated. There's so many terms and things are different if you're talking diesel or electric. So I'm trying to switch over in my head. I will be there momentarily. Hello, this is Natalia. Oh, yes, ma'am. I have a shipment delivery for you. Okay, awesome. Um, Are you here? No, in about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, awesome. Okay. Awesome. Thank Thanks so much. Yep. Bye. Yeah. Let's go get our engines. Our motor, I mean. We're getting our motor. All right. Let's do this. All right, we have our motor right here. It was his last delivery of the afternoon because he opened up the back of the truck in the freight truck and this was the last package. I do think Go Girl Power, the only reason he brought it right over here is because I was a, a woman by myself. So he figured that I wouldn't have been able to do it and he's probably right. So thank you to the freight company for stepping up. <laughs> so here it is, we have it, Go Girl Power. He wasn't supposed to bring it here. He said he's not really supposed to deliver it anywhere further than like where the truck is, which doesn't make sense, but we have it. And it's here and now our task will be to attach it to the boom and get it into the boat but it's two boxes so this is a box and then it's separate and this is a box on this pallet all right yay percent not 600 pounds we don't know what the woman was saying because the other box that we have super light well i'm glad this is going to be easier than i kept thinking i just didn't want to get all those chains out well i still don't know how i'm gonna get it well we don't need to do that today where are you planning on installing this today no. okay. whoa good thing we have the stairs where are you putting it Boy, you're making me nervous. Your ankles are buckling. <laughs> you're buckling. <laughs> <laughs> Your ankles literally caved in. I wish I got that on <laughs> film. <laughs> it's not caved in. There you go. That was easy. I thought that was going to be like a three hour project with the batteries. That's the piece that we have been waiting on and that has caused everything to be delayed. I mean, look at this. Look at all these wires. I'm going to have to connect all these. 
Oh my goodness. Where did you learn to do this? I haven't. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yes. That is a lot of wires. Look at all these colors. Oh my goodness. All right, like, we're going to need the instructions. Yeah, this stresses me out. Just looking at this. Let's keep it all in one spot. She's a biggin. She's a what? A biggin. What the heck is that? A biggin? Yeah. Like a big boy. <laughs> what? <laughs> Never heard that before. Wow, she is a big boy. Is this going to fit in the engine? Yeah. This is bigger than I imagined. Not 600 pounds, so. Oh, yeah, that is heavy, though. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> How heavy do you think it is? Boy, I mean, it's not 600, 600 pounds. pounds. There's no way. There's no way it's 600 <laughs> pounds. But it's heavy. I think it's 600 pounds. I'm trying to deadlift it, like get into my zone. Get into your zone. Oh, I lifted a tiny bit. If it was 600 pounds, I wouldn't be able to lift it up this bit much. But yeah, it's a lot. It, I mean, I say 250. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> you think she was off by that much? Well, you think that's 600 pounds? I have no idea. There's no way. I mean, I love you and you are strong, but there's no way that you could lift 600 pounds just right into the boat. I mean, that's crazy. But it does say right here, 600 pounds. Oh, yeah. Oh, it just makes the clearance of that. Insulation. Baby steps to sailing. Are you becoming one with the engine? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Do you want me to open that so you get more air? Oh, nice. Alright, so after wrestling with the motor for a while, finally got it in place and attached to the gear reduction. So that should be pretty solid. We'll have to see once we get um, the controller wired up and the batteries connected. Have to start running tests to see A, how much power we need and B, um, if there's anything we need to kind of realign. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, once we get the controller mounted and wired. I'm thinking about putting the controller right here. Um, that way it's nice and close to both the batteries and the motor. So we'll see how that goes. So what are all of these boxes? We are on round two of building our battery. So the motor that we have, the minimum voltage is I think 76 that we can use to run the motor. So we have 48, so we need to keep adding batteries. So we're doing round two of our battery build. So we need to find some room in the engine room to make our second battery build, which will give us about a 96 volt system to power the motor. Spin the prop and get selling. All right, I also wanted to shout out, give myself a pat on the back, because these are actually really heavy, um, but I am glad they arrived. They're, they're heavy, but they arrived. We ordered on a Sunday, and it's a late afternoon on a Thursday, so I was able to pick these up, and we'll begin our next engine build. I think I'm going to next bring them into the boat, but good thing we have the stairs now, because these are heavy beasts. <laughs> Five? 
What? <laughs> Just right here. Maybe three. All right, so we're adding snubbers um, and a new line just to the stern of our boat. If you saw our previous video, you'll know that our neighbor's boat right here, actually like the whole side and cleats ripped off. So obviously we don't want that to happen to our boat when like waves come in up the, like, the channel um, and through the harbor and onto the marina. So we're gonna be adding a snubber and then a new line. Can I stay in the darkness? Yeah, no more squeaking at the source. Used to pull on this a lot. Alright, hang with me. Where do you want me to put this? Whoa, that's so good. Really, this makes sense. In my head. That makes sense in my head. Alright, pull tight. Yep. I always have a backup to the backup. Actually, this is the backup of just the regular. <laughs> Are you cooling down up there? Is there a breeze? <laughs> There's no breeze. <laughs> Alright, so we are about a week and a half into having no AC. <sighs> Gotta wipe my upper lip sweat. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty hot. This is the first day that we don't have a ton of wind. It's pretty minor and it's not anything that we had the previous few days. So we have our fans and you can ask us how we're doing because this is going to be me all day. Well, I want to film it. It's going to be either really good or really bad. I feel like we should film it if it's going to be really good. Wow. Oh, <gasps> you did it. It says 96.9. Good job. Pretty yeah, that's amazing. This isn't clicking anymore. Wires aren't hot. We're in business. Well, maybe. <laughs> so, so, I mean, we're <laughs> moving in the right direction. <laughs> at least. You know how many switches we're going to have to turn on? Yep. We got to do two breakers, the power switch, and then once I install the pump to cool the thing, then we're going to have to <laughs> click. We're going to be down here. Fucking a plane getting ready for takeoff. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe so that you can catch our video next week. See ya!